This is Lynn Lee Oz, and you're listening to Two Minutes of Truth. Are you struggling with sin in your life right now? Are there things that you just want to let go of, but for whatever reason, it's just so hard? You feel guilty. You feel convicted. You, in fact, even at times feel ashamed. But nonetheless, the struggle goes on. Every time you do this sin, you just want to stop. You almost feel like, well, why even bother going to the Lord about it anymore? Because he's probably so mad at me. He won't take me seriously. Well, that's where you're wrong, my friend. We all need to continue taking our sins to the Lord each and every day and plead with him for deliverance from those sins. And you can find examples of this all throughout the Bible. One example is given to us in Psalm 51. Beginning with verse 10, it says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will be converted to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. Then my tongue will joyfully sing of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. For you do not delight in sacrifice, otherwise I would give it. You are not pleased with burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Whoever you are right now, listening to the sound of my voice, we cannot be whole until we are broken. And when you wave that white flag of surrender and you truly, truly, wholly give yourself to the Lord and you're completely broken, That is when the Lord God Almighty can put you back together. So as I began to say, we cannot be whole until we are broken. Are you ready to fall apart? You've been listening to Two Minutes of Truth with Lynn Liaz. To hear more of my programs, you can find me on YouTube at youtube.com slash at truthhunters show. Again, that's youtube.com slash at truthhunters show. And don't forget to prayerfully search the scriptures for yourselves because then you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free.